My name is Soresa Sabila, and today I'm gonna present you about my poetry reading, and the title is Power by Audre Lorde. The difference between poetry and rhetoric is being ready to kill yourself instead of your children. I am trapped on a desert of raw gunshot wounds and a dead child dragging his shadow black face off the edge of my sleep. Blood from his sprunter cheeks and shoulders is the only liquid for miles and my stomach churns at the imagined taste while my mouth splits into dry lips. Without loyalty or reason, thirsting for the wetness of his blood as it sinks into the whiteness of the desert where I am lost without imagery or magic. Trying to make power out of hatred and destruction Trying to heal my dying son with kisses. Only the sun will bleach his bones quicker. A policeman who shut down a 10 year old in Queens stood over the boy with his cup shoes and childish blood. And a voice said, Die, you little motherfucker. And there are tapes to prove it. At his trial, this policeman said in his own defense, I didn't notice the size nor nothing else, only the color. And there are tapes to prove that too. Today, that 37-year-old white man with 13 years of police forcing was set free by 11 white men who said they were satisfied justice had been done. And one black woman who said they convinced me, meaning they had dragged her four fit ten black women free over the hot coals of four centuries of white male approval until she let go. The first real power she ever had and lined her own womb with cement to make a graveyard for our children. I have not been able to touch the destruction within me, but unless I learn to use the difference between poetry and rhetoric, my power to will run corrupt as poisonous mold or lie limp and useless as unconnected wire. And one day, I will take my teenage plug and connect it to the nearest socket, raping an 85-year-old white woman who is somebody's mother and as I beat her senseless and set a torch to her bed, a Greek chorus will be singing in three or four times. Poor thing, she never heard a soul. What a beast they are.